my fellow artists, welcome back to part two of my fairy makeup tutorial. Let's finish up this magical fairy look together. Let's pick up from where we ended in the last video. I'm using an angled flat brush and my gel eyeliner from ABH to create a thick black cat eye to complement the pastel colors on the lid. This next part is completely optional. I'm going back into my Jeffree Star X Morphe palette and filling in the space between my black eyeliner and the rainbow colors on my lid. Looking good. Once your eye look is all tidy up, let's lay down our foundation. I'm using the shade Espresso by Becca Cosmetics. This seriously is my favorite foundation because it's smooth, lightweight, and isn't runny like other brands. I'm grabbing my Morphe concealer in the shade C5.35. I'm using this natural skin tone concealer to cover areas that easily crease on the face, such, such as the edges of the nose and smile lines. Use a brush or a beauty blender to blend in your concealer. Next, I'm going in with my Morphe Concealer. This peachy color concealer is in the shade C3.65. I will lay this shade down on parts of my face that I wish to highlight, such as my cheekbones, bridge of my nose, and center of my chin and cupid's bow. Use the blending tool of your choice to blend in your concealer. Next, let's set our concealer with a dry beauty blender. I'm using a Morphe X Jeffree Star Beauty Blender to lay down my favorite setting powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Peach. This is my favorite beauty blender because I love using the sharp edges to sharpen my eyeliner and get into the small crevices on the face. Let's keep our hard work intact by using your favorite setting spray. I'm using NYX Dewy Skin Finish Setting Spray. This affordable brand gives you a long-lasting dewy finish when you're on a tight budget. Here's a bonus tip. You can use the sharp edges of your Jeffree Star X Morphe Beauty Blender to sharpen the lines of your eyeliner. Let's start on our lower lid by revisiting our Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. I love using my beauty blender as a guideline to place my shimmery shadows underneath my lower lid. This will help minimize fallout and concentrate the shadows in specific areas of the eye. We will be using a few of the colors from the upper lid onto the lower lid. After we intensify the lime green in the corner of the eye, let's go ahead and place a shimmery red right beside it. I'm also going to place a splash of yellow to help blend these two colors together. Continue to build up your colors. 
After we added our red, let's blend out a shimmery orange and then a shimmery pink to follow right after it. Follow the curve of your eye while avoiding the waterline. You can place a highlighter or a white shadow in the waterline. Next, let's use a fluffy brush to blend out a shimmery red or pink. I'm using a combination of both colors. Start from the side of your face and add the shadow and blend it outward. You can use the curve of your cheekbone to help guide your colors. Add as little or as much shadow as you like. Have fun with it. It's your face. I added an orange shimmery shade beside the pink to create a pinky orange gradient effect. Next, let's add a rosy colored blush to the lower end of the nose. I'm using a big fluffy brush to cover this area faster. You're more than welcome to use any blush of your choosing. If you want to use a cream or liquid blush, go right ahead. You can use any color as well. Remember that your creativity is the reason this look will turn out wonderful. Next, I'm going to contour my chin using my Morphe concealer in the shade C5.55. 
I'm using a darker concealer to sharpen my jawline and add definition to my face. You're more than welcome to use a cream or powder color to contour. I just prefer a concealer because it's easier to control and blend beautifully in with the skin. This next part is optional. I'm adding a shadow beneath my lower lip to give me a natural pouty lower lip. Alright, let's add some more shine to our look. I'm going into my favorite Jeffree Star highlighter palette called Brain Freeze. I'm using a fluffy brush to dip into this beautiful pink highlight co color called Frozen Fruit. I'm going to lay that over the areas I have placed my blush in order to add more shimmer to this fairy look. Awesome! Alright, let's add the finishing touches to our look. Now let's add our pastel freckles using an oil-based face paint. You can use any colors of your choice to dot your face. I know it's tempting, but try to stick to three to four colors so you don't cover or smudge the shadow underneath. Alright, on to the lips. I'm using my Jeffree Star Pastel Purple Lipstick in the shade Purple Urkel. Next, I will coat that with my Jeffree Star Lip Gloss called Candy Drip. Alright, let's add mascara, lashes, and hair to complete this magical fairy look. Awesome job, my lovely artist. You did such an amazing job. Thanks for spending time with me. Let's meet again in the next video.